I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. This is on differentiability. Let me thank all the subscribers for taking keen interest in watching my videos and posting excellent questions. That makes my channel unique. Normally, I'll be answering the questions within 48 hours. Weekends may be an exception. The question here is, is parabola y square equals to 4ax differentiable at the vertex? Explain. Now, normally when you see the equation of a parabola, you see in terms of y equals to x square, right? But here, note that we are given equation as y square equals to 4ax, right? So, so if you rewrite this, what do you get? You get y equals to square root of 4ax with plus and minus sign, right? So within square root, you know, uh, the domain, that is the value of x, has to be greater than equal to 0. We are assuming that a is, is constant. We are assuming a is constant and a is also greater than 0, right? We are assuming that. Perfect. Well, some of you could rewrite this equation as y equals to plus minus uh, 2 square root ax, right? Anyway, uh, but the key idea here is that the relation given to us is not a function, right? That's why I've written the word relation here. Because of these plus and minus values, we can note that it is not a function. Is it okay? That's the first thing. Anyway, that's not a part of this question. However, it's very important to understand. Okay. Now, let's see how when we sketch it is going to look like. So, we have some square root function which is maybe you can say vertically stretched kind of like this or horizontally compressed as you can see it but anyway it will be of this form with a very smooth turning here so as you can see from here that y-axis is tangent to function, I should not say function, to y square equals to 4ax at origin, right. Now, what is the slope of this tangent line? It is undefined, right? So here, we know that the slope is undefined. Since the slope is undefined, we say that it is not differentiable. Perfect. So that's the reason why it is not differentiable. Perfect. But you could do it the other way also. That is, um, because normally this question will be asked to you before you have learned derivative rules. But in case uh, it comes in your exam when you have already done derivative rules, you could actually differentiate the function and then show it also. For example, uh, you know, y square equals to 4ax. If you differentiate with respect to x, what do you get? You get 2 times y dy dx equals to 4a, right? So dy dx is 4a over 2y. Correct? So at origin, y is 0, right? At origin, if you write this, dy dx at y equals to 0, at origin y is 0, what do you get here? You get something over 0, which is, let me write 4a itself, something over 0, which is undefined. Perfect. So you could also show this algebraically. It all depends what all have you learned, right? So we did here uh, implicit derivation and got our result. 
So I hope that helps. This is one of the two ways in which you can always show why y square equals to 4ax is not differentiable at origin. I hope that helps. Thanks for posting the question and if you like and subscribe that would be great. Thank you and all the best.